Today we're back with another amazing movie. Hello and welcome to Binge King. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe. Also press the bell button to get the latest updates about new movies. Watch out for spoilers and take care. Without any further ado, let's start. The film begins with Gerald, a world-famous creep conducting research on hidden cameras. He selects a wireless spy camera in the shape of a socket and places an order for some. The next scene depicts a lady and a man getting ready for work. The woman dresses up while the man calls a technician. The man joins his girl in the bathroom and they both romance each other, unaware that they are being watched by a creek. The next scene shows a van pulling up to a dessert house where a raggedy man walks in with his bag and walks to the dining room where he puts his face in the hidden camera and walks to the bathroom to clean up a bit before going to the workshop to fine tune his key. Gerald finds his way to an uninhabited house. After confirming that there was no one, Gerald gets to a socket on the wall and checks them out. Suddenly, a woman labeled as the Pixie Lady and her dog enter into the house to get a drink. After a while, she feeds the dog and goes to take a shower, but Gerald was already in the shower and knocks her out in seconds. In the next scene, Kyle and his parents, Arthur and Laurie, are shown investigating their ideal vacation house. They eventually decide to hire a realtor named Claire. Meanwhile, Gerald texts Stuff to leave his victim's residence. He enters his truck and reverses it. The pixie lady, who is his victim, comes to and shouts for help when Gerald enters. He quickly rushes to knock her out again, this time putting her in a trash can and cart her into his truck. Gerald eventually returns home to find his son Junior watching cartoons. When his son notices him sweating and drenched and asks why he's like this, the Gerald simply ignores him and changes his clothing. It's a spy mission and he's seated in front of his numerous computer displays which are filled with camera feeds. Arthur, Laurie, and their children all travel to their rental house, admiring the vista as the house draws their attention. Laurie takes a look at the available positions in the free agency. Arthur throws out the strange food. Molly and her friend Danielle play in their room and complain about the house's remoteness. After chuckling for a while, they change into their beach clothes. Gerald has already put cameras in a strategic location throughout the home and is watching the girls with his mouth open as they walk away. Danielle and Molly get into the pool to swim and talk about boys while Kyle observes them from afar. Later that night, Danielle discovers Kyle watching a movie on TV, and the parents enter the house tell Danielle to put on some clothing. Molly takes a shower and Gerald watches and then he types in something. He enters all the necessary details to bring up the live stream. Minutes later, all hidden camera feeds in the house appear on screen. After a series of encryptions, he starts up a live stream for his reviews and viewers on the dark web. After some seconds, the viewer numbers increase exponentially. The pixie lady wakes up in a dark room handcuffed. She cries out for aid but gets no response as she smashes her head against the walls. Gerald opens the door and drags her to an underground bunker where she meets another captive like herself who assures her that everything will be fine. Gerald continues his fishing and all the cameras remain active. While they are away, Gerald drives down to Arthur's holiday home and installs more spy cameras. After Arthur and his family arrive from their Audi the day before, he checks out some of the family items before getting down to business. Arthur discovers the door is unlocked and goes through the home, almost stumbling into the spy camera. Gerald collapsed to the ground but was interrupted by Danielle, who asked if she could change there or if their excuse were still valid. Back in the bunker, the pixie lady tries to open the hatch on top of them but struggles with the latch opening up. A roommate tries to talk to her out of it, but she doesn't listen as Gerald drives by and throws them dinner which they pick up and eat. Molly gets ready for a swim and walks over to Kyle's room, where she overhears she chastises both of them. Junior picks up a key and unlocks a door to his father's truck later that night. Gerald drives to his workstation, of course, and is devastated when he notices that all of his spy cameras are offline. He tries to jumpstart all of them. Pixie tells her roommate that their captive is an old man and that they could take him on because he is weak. The roommate agrees and they both come up with a plan. Back in the old apartment, Junior picks up Gerald and puts on some electronics while the cameras continue to give their feed. He then goes into Danielle's room and sniffs some of her old clothes. Danielle, who is using the restroom, notices something moving in the corridor and decides to investigate after calling Molly's name several times. Arthur, however, interrupts concentration and tells her to get some clothes on. Junior is still at the workstation and staring at the entire house on the screens. Danielle notices that her underwear is stolen and that some of her booze is missing from her bag, which is all messed up. The pixie lady tries to run. Gerald puts an end to Pixie's life. Gerald's viewership grows as he continues his live feed. When he asked how much he would sell Danielle, Gerald claims she is not for sale. When they finally get the address, someone offers $100,000 for Danielle. 
Gerald disables the users, but it is too late. He ends the live feed and drives to a vacation house. Junior rides his bike to his father's spy house after discovering his father is not there. Junior sits down and watches the girls on the couch and switches cameras to track Molly. While Gerald is going to the house, shortly after a man dressed in black approaches, the house on one of the cameras, Danielle, notices a movement outside and calls Molly. Unfortunately for the girls, the kidnapper notices them and captures them. He places them on the bed and walks down the corridor. Gerald quickly enters the house and eliminates the intruder. He then informs the ladies that he will have to eliminate them as well. Junior stands there in terror as his father prepares to abduct the girls, so he calls the cops and stares at the screen. Arthur, Lori, and Kyle return home from their outing. Gerald attacks and put the guy in the van and drives away. Junior finds the bunker his father uses to hide his prisoners and opens it. There he finds the pixie lady's roommate all despondent. Gerald arrives home. In a hurry, Danielle wakes up and gets into the van. As she drives away, she notices Junior and the roommate racing to catch up to her. Eventually, the automobile comes to a halt and Junior fixes in time for them to evade the attack. The next morning, cops are talking about the strangeness of Gerald's actions. They arrive at the crime scene and see another body where Gerald was supposed to be. Funny enough, Gerald actually survived the accident. The movie ends with Gerald telling his captives to buckle up so they can get on the road. The name of this amazing movie is 14 Cameras. That is all for today, folks. Tell us in the comment section what is your point of view about this amazing movie. See you soon with another amazing video.